Hello guys and welcome back. In this tutorial I am going to show you how to use GitHub pages to host your website for free. So as we know that we can use GitHub to upload our code online. But at the same time GitHub also provides us a free hosting service called as GitHub pages to host our static websites. With the help of which now each repository on our account can have its own hosted website. So in this video I am going to show you how you can use GitHub pages to upload your static website without any cost. I have this simple portfolio landing page that I want to host using github pages so let's do it together. But before we start please give this video a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel. Now let's get started. First of all I assume that you know at least the very basics of git and github. Now in order to host your website on github the very first step is to create a new github repository. So if you are already logged in to your github account then just create a new repository. I will name it portfolio landing page. You can name it to whatever your project is. Now you can also give it a description if you want. I will simply write this is a single page portfolio landing website created using html5, css3 and vanilla js. Now here it doesn't matter if it is public or private. And there I will ignore readme file. You can add if you want. And finally let's click on create repository. So once we have this repository set up, next we need to upload our code in this repo. Now if you have a simple website that doesn't consist of many files, you can just upload your website by drag and drop to your repository. But make sure that the root file or the html file should be named as index.html. Otherwise github will not recognize your website and it won't host your website properly. So anyways I am going to open git bash in the same directory where I have my project on my computer. And you can download git bash by searching through google or you can use your local terminal as well. So let's write some commands to push our code to the github repository that we have just created. So first of all let's initialize the git and for this you can run a command as git init. Next we need to add all the files in this directory. Then I am going to commit the changes. So let's write a command as git commit minus m and after that let's type our message. So I am going to say initial commit and then we need to type this command as git remote add origin and let's copy paste the url to our repository from github. And finally I am going to push this up by typing git git push origin main and then that's going to put all your code to your github repository. So once that's done let's take a look at our github repository and there you go the three files have been uploaded properly. Now once again if your root file name doesn't matches to index.html it's not going to work. Now we are almost done. So the final thing that we need to do is to click on the settings and there just click on github pages which is right here on the left side. And here click on this and then select the main branch and then save. So now it's going to find our root html file and host it right away. So if we go to github pages again you can see this url right here. Now this was generated for us. So if I open that up then you can see that our website that I showed you earlier on my local system is hosted on github. And now anybody can access it if they have the url. So this is amazing and that's how simple it is to host any static website to github pages. Now what if I want to make changes to my website that is hosted on github pages. Well it is very simple imagine if I want to change something in my code then after making the change I will simply add my files again using git and commit the changes that I made. And finally I will push it back to github. And then if I reload my site again you can see the changes. So basically the github pages is directly connected to your repository. Anytime you make changes to your code push it on github and your site will automatically get updated. So this was a quick guide to use github pages. I hope you enjoyed this video and find it helpful. For more videos like this make sure to like share and subscribe to my channel and also press the bell icon next to it. At last thanks a lot for watching and I will see you in the next time.